It's been more than 24 hours since Hamas waged an unannounced war on Israel all of a sudden. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's most recent warning threatens to turn areas in Gaza where Hamas operates into a rubble. Netanyahu's message urges Gaza residents to evacuate ahead of the anticipated forceful operations. This is the level to which Israel is ready to take the war clearly to a decisive end. An Israeli airstrike targeted a Palestinian tower, a 14-storey building in central Gaza city, housing both families and offices connected to Hamas. Inhabitants received a 10-minute warning before the building came crashing down. Israel deployed its Iron Dome missile defense system to intercept rockets from Gaza. Additionally, the country moved heavy weapons, including tanks, to its borders with Lebanon and Syria, reinforcing its deterrence capabilities. United States has expressed solidarity with Israel, condemning the terrorist attack orchestrated by Hamas. He assured support for Israel's defense and conveyed a commitment to stand against terrorism. Today, the people of Israel are under attack, orchestrated by a terrorist organization, Hamas. In this moment of tragedy, I want to say to them and to the world and to terrorists everywhere, that the United States stands with Israel. French President Emmanuel Macron tweeted his condemnation of the attacks and expressed solidarity with the victims. The international community is closing watching the developments. Meanwhile, in a display of unity, Israelis came together to donate blood, showcasing resilience in the face of terror and demonstrating solidarity with those affected by the war. It was on Saturday when in response to the ongoing conflict, Israel declared a state of war. The conflict has resulted in over 200 deaths and at least 1,000 injuries in the country. Hamas launched Operation Al-Aqsa Flood, involving a barrage of 3,000 rockets and an unprecedented infiltration into Israel's southern towns. The conflict escalated with gunfights and hostage situations. Israel retaliated with Operation Iron Swords, conducting intense airstrikes on Gaza, bringing the Palestinian death toll to at least 232. Prime Minister Netanyahu vowed to reduce Hamas hideouts in Gaza into rubble. The situation remains highly volatile, with both sides engaged in intense military actions. The international community continues to monitor the situation closely, urging restraint and calling for a diplomatic resolution to prevent further escalation and loss of life. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.